Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> the Miracle Shape Me Up Pill, Part One. Shape Me Up helps me start the day off right. On the television, a beautiful female peacock spoke directly to the camera with a charming smile plastered across her face while holding a small round pill in her hand. I'm Belle, the beauty queen of the Miss Forestville pageant. With this pill, you'll be just as beautiful as I am. Yay! And in that darkened room, a figure sat in front of a television, watching the advertisement with a smug look in his eyes. <laughs> I'm about to rake it in. Hey, no! The hospital is so busy today. What gives? Sheriff Labrador accompanied Officer Doberman to the registration desk of the largest hospital in Forestville, where a long queue had formed. Hey, now, I'm fine, Lab. It's just a graze. Maybe we should come back later. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Your cut is from a rusty piece of metal. We need to get you cleaned up before it gets infected. Move! Move! move. An ambulance rushed up to the unloading zone. Then the paramedics pulled a stretcher out of the ambulance and rushed the animal lying on it into the emergency room. Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman quickly got out of the way. Hey now, I think that's Mr. Earthworm on the stretcher. I haven't seen him for a long time. He has had quite the growth spurt. Um, Doby, the patient information tag says he's Mr. Cobra. Huh? How did Mr. Cobra shrink to the size of an earthworm? He used to be so strong. Just then, Dr. Giraffe passed them in such a hurry that she almost ran into Sheriff Labrador. Sheriff Labrador held out his hand to steady Dr. Giraffe deftly. Oh, hey there, Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman. Whew, it is such a relief that you guys still look the same. Hey now, Dr. Giraffe, what, what do you mean? Sheriff Labrador perceived a trace of worry in Dr. Giraffe's words, so he inquired further. What's going on here? There seems to be a lot of sick animals these days. Alas, Sheriff Labrador, you are right. Just look at all of these. These are just the recent medical records. Take a look. Dr. Giraffe touched her forehead in frustration and pulled out one of the medical records. A rhino suffers from pneumonia. Underweight, he was swept downstream by the current, choking on water, resulting in fluid in the lungs and subsequent pneumonia. Huh? A crow cannot fly because of his weak muscles. Huh? A lion lost half his mane from malnutrition. What? what? Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman listened with increasing astonishment. Sheriff Labrador's eyebrows furrowed. Hey now, underweight? Malnutrition? Did none of them have enough to eat? <sighs> You're right, Officer Doberman. These patients are all suffering from malnutrition. One common trait among them is skipping meals. What? How do they skip meals? I wouldn't be able to stand up straight if I miss a meal. Hearing about the animals skipping meals caused Officer Doberman's stomach to rumble. Sheriff Labrador looked at the medical records and his dark, round eyes glistening with a keen light. Why are those animals skipping meals? There must be something amiss. Doby, I think we need to question the sick animals later. After Officer Doberman got his wound bandaged, he and Sheriff Labrador went to Leo the Lion's hospital room. How are you, Mr. Leo? I heard you became sick because of skipping meals. We'd like to know why. Before Sheriff Labrador could finish his words, Leo let out a loud roar and pounded the bed in remorse. <laughs> I, I just wanted to be more handsome. That black-hearted bleeder told me that stuff could satisfy my hunger and I could get in shape like Belle, the beauty queen of the Miss Forestville pageant, simply by taking it. <laughs> hey now, hey now, Belle! She's the talk of the town after being crowned the winner of the Miss Forestville pageant. Well, having a figure like hers is... is that even possible? Officer Doberman's eyes twinkled. Then Leo let out another roar. Oh, of course that's not possible. Just look at me. Leo turned to reveal the back of his head. And there was a large bald spot. Hey, now what? Leo gripped Sheriff Labrador's hands, weeping grievously. 
<laughs> this, this is all because of that black-hearted goat. <laughs> Please arrest that fraud, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> Don't worry. If he did commit a crime, we will catch him. But, Mr. Leo, you just said that Bleeder convinced you to take that stuff. What was it? Well, uh, uh, it's, um... Leo rummaged in his pockets and pulled out a round tablet. This pill is called Shape Me Up. <laughs> Buying it from Bleeder cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Sheriff Labrador took the tablet Leo passed him. Then his dark, round eyes suddenly glistened. No need to eat food and you can become beautiful or handsome? No such miracle pill exists! Do you know how to find Bleeder, Leo? Oh, yes, I know how. Travel along the left side of Riverside Park. Turn right, then left, then go straight until you reach the third alley on the right. You'll see his store. Near Riverside Park, two animals wearing t-shirts emerged from the darkness of a dim alley. Hey now, the address Mr. Leo gave us sure is hard to find. I thought we'd never find it. They were Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman. Nice and orderly, guys. Please wait your turn. <laughs> One at a time. A crowd of animals gathered around a store. A chubby, round, white goat was greeting everyone warmly. Seems like he's the bleeder we're looking for. 